Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, like, it's a night look, you know? I use the sock and I haven't even done this bun in like years, years, years. I did this bun like, last time I did this bun was like in high school. I mean, that's what, like six years ago, like what the heck, you know? I created this glittery turquoise I look today I wanted to make something that would make the eye stand out more than anything else from the face and I feel like this with the glitter and stuff it's standing out more I really wanted to like make a really detailed eye if you know what I mean like I, I just wanted my eyes to stand out more than anything else you know and I think I did it <laughs> I think I did it. So yeah, you guys, if you wanna see how I created this eye look, then keep on watching. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm just gonna use this brush. It's, well, this brush doesn't have a name, so on. But I like using it for, for blending out the primer or concealer or whatever I'm gonna use to prime my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Violet Voss Essential Palette. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to go in with the shade Dusty Rose. This shade right here. With the Morphe M456. I'm just going to apply it here on my crease. I'm going to go ahead and build the color first. Pack it on and then blend it out. If you want to blend it out a bit more for it won't look too harsh, I'm going to go in with the crease brush from, I don't know what this is from, Moda Pro crease brush, which is this one, and I'm just going to just blend this out. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. concealer in the shade Fair Warm, and I'm going to create a cut crease. Before the cut crease dries up, I'm going to go in with the Celestial Thunder from Com um, Dominic Cosmetics. And I'm going to go in with this Mystic Ice, which is this blue shade here. And I'm going to go in with this large shade brush. And I'm just going to grab the product and just tap, like build up the color on the crease. This is such a beautiful blue color. And then I'm just going to kind of blend out the corners. Okay, and for I won't have to transfer the blue shadow all the way up, I'm just going to take an angle brush, any angle brush, and then grab product and then just tap it carefully there on the corner just to cover up the concealer okay after that in the same dominique um cosmetics palette i'm gonna go in with the shade storm dust which is this brown shade here and i'm gonna be using this brush like a shader brush i guess and i'm gonna be applying it here in the outer corner i'm gonna kind of build up the the color and then just blend it out here just to erase this um line that we did with the concealer okay and once i blended this corner out i'm just gonna with no product on the brush i didn't grab any more um i'm just gonna be blending out this corner here just a tiny bit 
Then I'm going to go back to the Violet Voss Essentials palette and that same Dusty Rose shade. And I'm going to use the same brush, the Morphe 456. And what I'm going to do is just blend this out. Just lightly and carefully. I'm just going to be blending out all the harsh lines. Then I'm just going to go back with that same brush that I used for the brown, no product. I didn't grab no more product, I'm just going to blend this out a bit more. Okay, so I'm definitely going to go out of my comfort zone. I really don't mess around with glitter because, I don't know, glitter is just like glitter, you know? And I'm going to go ahead and use the She Makeup Sparkle Dreams Press Glitter, which is this palette here. It is this palette right here. Like, I want to keep it with the little turquoise going on and stuff, so I'm not going to use a really pigmented um, shimmer. So I'm going to use Drift, which is this blue here, like this turquoise one here. On camera it looks turquoise, but off camera it looks definitely like a light aqua blue. So I'm going to go ahead and use my finger for this part. I mean, every time you're using glitters, like pressed glitters, it's better to use your finger because it applies smoother and easier. So I'm just going to apply it on top of the, of the blue shade. And you see the difference. You can see the difference already. You see that? Oh my god, so beautiful. I wanted to use the glitter because I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. And I mean, glitter just makes everything so much better, you know? And what I like about this glitter, it doesn't feel heavy on my eyelid or like chunky. Because I've tried other glitters that just feel so chunky on my lid and I don't like that. And this one feels like so lightweight and not chunky, you know? Okay, before I apply my lashes, I'm going to go ahead and remove all this fallout. And I'm going to be using my um, Neutrogena Nighttime Soothing Makeup Remover Tell Lips. I love these tell lips. I used to use the blue pack, but I don't know. I just didn't like it that much, but I love this these toilets okay for lashes i'm gonna use these cast cosmetics premium silk lashes in the style pegasus and this is what they look like let me take them off from the box okay this is what they look like i don't want to use a really dramatic lash because i want like like the eye color the glitter and all that to stand out more than the lash so let's see if this lash does it, you know? Okay, for my under eye, I'm going to go in with a detail brush and I'm going to go back in with the Dusty Rose with the Violet Voss um, palette. And I'm just going to be blending it out. Just like that. Then with a flat brush like this. I'm going to go in with, in the Celestial Thunder and I'm going to go back in with the Storm Dust, which is that brown right here. And I'm going to apply this like, like really close to my waterline, like really close. And I'm going to be doing tapping motions. And then I'm going to kind of blend it out like this. 
but I'm just gonna go in with this color I'm gonna go in halfway here you see cuz like I have hooded eyes I want my eyes to look bigger so I'm just gonna go halfway here like that and then just kind of blend it out a bit just like that you see the difference on these on this eye and just for my eyes to look a bit bigger because I'm loving this eye look I'm gonna use a white eyeliner I was gonna use like um well I wanted to use like a beige eyeliner but I don't have a beige eyeliner so I'm gonna use the white one just to make my eyes pop out a little bit more okay so the last thing before mascara i'm gonna go back in the um celestial thunder and i'm gonna use eternal light which is this like cute um it looks like a champagne beige glitter or whatever shimmer i'm gonna go ahead and use that one and what I'm going to do is just grab some on my brush. I'm using an angle brush for this because I couldn't find the right brush that I wanted to use for this. But I'm going to use the angle brush and I'm going to spray my Fix Plus on top of that glitter. And I'm just going to apply it on the in inner corner. Just by spraying it with Fix Plus or water or any other setting spray. It just makes the shimmer look like really stand out. Like it makes it really, really shiny and I love it. Okay, so now finally the last thing is mascara and I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I like this uh, mascara because it's not that intense once you apply it and I love using this mascara for my bottom lashes. This mascara is like really lightweight as you can tell. Look how lightweight is that. No mascara and yes mascara. And it's like really lightweight and I just love this mascara for the bottom lashes. And then I'm just gonna put mascara on top just to combine my natural lashes with the falsies. Okay beauty, so this is the final look. This is the final look that I created today and I'm actually really loving this look. Like this glitter, the color, like I'm just loving it. My eyes are really standing out and I just love it and I just did like a natural, I just did a little bit bronzer, some highlight, you know. I didn't add blush because I felt like the blush was just gonna be like too much. So I just added a little bit of contour, some, some bronzer and, and highlight. And honestly, I'm just loving how this eye look is looking. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you end up trying to recreate this eye look, please go ahead and tag me on Instagram. If you like this video, hit the like button. Comment down below if you want to see anything else like this or different colors, anything. Comment down below um don't forget to subscribe push that bell for you guys could get notified every time i upload a video and please don't forget to follow the rest of my social media guys so yeah i'll see you guys on the next one bye you guys oh this is gonna make a huge difference for my future videos from now on